I started actually working here in uh, 1978, maybe, like 13, 14 years old, and the business had been here as long as I can remember. There's still a face-to-face -face thing that, that will ne I don't think will ever go away. People still, us old, older people, old school people, we still like to be face-to-face, -face, you know, and uh, I think that's a lot of the reason why we're still got our doors open uh, and trust, people still trust us. And, uh, you know, we just try to, we try to be fair to everybody and that's really all you can do. And uh, the town means a lot to us, but we mean a lot to the town. And, and if, uh, if we weren't here, it, it would definitely impact the, our little community a lot. And uh, maybe not just this, our little town of Clay, but probably the whole county, and there's a lot of hands-on stuff that people still need that you just can't get, you know, you can't get on your computer and get right now, you know, so people, there's still a need for, for places like what we have for Central Auto. I retired from this place about 10 years ago after I spent about 40 years here. I was able to buy into the company in 1978, and then I stayed affiliated with it till 2008. There was other, two other partners in here when I bought in. One of them was uh, Jeff's dad, and the other one was uh, a Shelton guy who was a guy who originally started this business. When Paul Cherry retired in 2003, my son Greg bought his shares out. And then when I retired in 2008, Jeff bought my shares out. So Jeff and Greg was partners till 2015 when my son just all of a sudden died. And so I left it in Jeff's hands now. Central Auto has always been a family owned business and uh, you know, over the years, there's been a lot of teenagers like myself that had an opportunity to, to start out working here, and uh, you learn a lot of, of good values about uh, about how to treat customers, and uh, Jeff and all the guys that's that's been here over the years been great to work for. I started working here at Centro Auto in uh, 1988. I was a junior in high school, and I worked here for oh, about four years. Uh, I do electrical work now, and I got a small business here in Clay, and I uh, got three electricians that work with me. And uh, back when I worked here years ago, working behind the counter selling auto parts, uh, one of the main things I learned how to do was how to treat people and, uh, you know, just be nice to folks. And it was a great place to start. I think everybody needs to kind of work for the public a little bit. I do say that working behind the counter it's kind of like being a bartender without the alcohol because you can say, hey, how you doing today? And, and 30 minutes later, then you say, okay, what do you need? You know, because sometimes you ask somebody how they're doing and, and you get the whole story, you know, whether you wanted it or not. But uh, younger people need to learn to interact, especially in this day and time when everything is on, on uh, social media. Probably one of the biggest lessons is just to, just for one thing, show up at work, you know, work ethic, but just also to learn how to get along with, with your co-workers and also with the customers. And, and it helps you get later on in life because you can be really good at something, but if you can't get along with people, then you, you're not gonna achieve maybe what you could. Just been outstanding. I mean, since I've been here, I've seen maybe 10 high school boys come through here, work up front, first time job, first real job. I actually started in 2006 when I was a sophomore in high school. Uh, started up front pumping gas, learning the counter, all that stuff, order parts, you know, stuff like that. As I progressed, started working in the back a little bit, fixing tires, you know, help out the mechanics whenever they needed it. I mean, I owe Jeff having my first job. I mean, he was my true first job. So, I mean, I don't know what I'd do without Centralto. 
we felt that was a, a building block for a community is to get your younger guys, you know, into the workforce. And it's been, and it's been good. Uh, it was good for me. You know, it's hard work, a lot of hours, but I enjoyed it. And, you know, it's, I'm not sorry a bit of my life here, you know. And it does feel good that we're still up here, we're still standing, we're still trying, you know, and something to be proud of.